Good morning! Welcome back to devlog 2 of my 2D shooter. If you guys haven't been around for the last two devlogs, yes, two, I started at devlog 0 for some reason, then first of all, what are you doing? Go check those out first, but if you decide that you're too special to go back and watch it, or just don't remember well enough, then here's a recap. I started making a simple 2D shooter based off simple flash games with the main inspiration being Strike Force Heroes. I've been working on this game for quite some time and I've got a lot of the core features implemented, like movement, shooting, and even all that AI stuff figured out. Last devlog, despite having the majority of things in, I decided that the game just didn't feel right. So I spent that whole video trying to fix up the game and make it play better, or at least trying to, with screen shake and a bunch of other improvements. So now that we're all caught up, let's get started. Right off, when I opened up my project again, for some reason there was a bug with the AI shooting, so right away I started on a good foot with my favorite, bug fixes. But soon enough it was done. Next, even though last devlog I spent the whole time trying to make the game feel better, but something still wasn't right. And Easy Mods just ripped off the band-aid when he said, It's not fun bro, it looks sloppy, like shooting in moon. Fix that, the game will feel 10 times better, believe me. Which hurt, but it was true, and I'm grateful for this feedback. But of all things, the jump felt the worst. It just felt truly horrible and floaty, but how was I gonna fix this? I still needed a jump that could reach high enough for all the platforms, but one that felt snappy and nice. So how was I to do this? Recently, I was watching a bunch of Game Maker's Toolkit videos about platforming movement, more specifically the one about Celeste and what makes it feel so good. That video talks a lot about the different movement types and the different jumps. One of the things that I looked at a lot was about the hang time and jumps. Many times you won't notice this, but in a ton of platforming games, if you hold the jump button, then you'll jump higher than if you just shortly tapped it. This adds a ton, but subtly. You get high, slow jumps while also keeping the small, snappy ones. So what am I waiting for? Let's get this added. Okay, now it's in the game. I made it so that when the jump button was pressed that the gravity on the player was lower than if you had just tapped it, making the jump seem more dynamic and satisfying. And man, it felt great. This one feature was what I was searching for in my full last video, but I guess finally found it just a video late. Next up, I was just sick and tired of looking at these janky run animations. I'm sure fixing it won't be that hard. And guess what? It wasn't. It didn't take me very much time at all until it was looking exactly infinity percent better. Now that I had that one animation, it was time to redo all of the movement animations. Yay! Woo! Holy cow, that makes it look so much better. All this time I was playing with these crappy animations and I didn't realize how much they took away from the gameplay. Also, while I was going through this, I added shadow casters to all of the joints so that the shadows will be more dynamic. Man, this video is just doing what I failed to do last video. Anyways, moving on! Next up, I decided that the camera movement was a little bit choppy. There were sharp transitions between switching weapons and many abrupt changes. Okay, this seems easy. If any of you know me, then you'll know that I think very highly about Unity's built-in camera movement tool, Cinemachine. It works super easy and always makes the game feel better. So, I got this in, and it was smoothing out the movement alright. Almost too much. Everything felt fluid and nice, but it also started to smooth out a main feature. Screen shake. Screen shake was essential. I liked the movement though, so let's figure out how to add screen shake back in. So, I did a little bit of research, and I actually found out that Cinema Machine has its own built-in system for screen shake known as the impulse system. And with no time at all, I had screen shade back in the game. With all of these changes in, 
there was one small problem. They only applied to the main player, not any of the AI controlled characters. So now I gotta apply all of these changes to the AI player and its supporting script. Let's get working on that. Okay, that actually wasn't very hard to get going. I could copy most things directly over and I was already in the scripts earlier, so I got this in with a little effort. Boom, what can I say? I'm on a roll. Next up, I decided that I needed some UI. Add a couple of temporary pieces, but sadly, you cannot live through a game with only the team score up in the corner. I took out a note and started scribbling down some ideas to figure out what I wanted. So I made a good layout. This would be the guidelines for my end goal, but I gotta start somewhere. So let's begin with the ammo counter. This was actually pretty easy. I had all the code for it pretty much running already, it was just all in the code. I guess I could just look at the inspector, but that's not too practical and non-existent in an actual build. I plopped a text field in the bottom right corner and updated it with the ammo. And boom, easy peasy. The game was actually playing like a world's difference better. Like if the improvement from last time was the difference between night and day, then the difference in this video is the difference between the bottom of the ocean and a freaking nuclear blast. It's honestly so much better and different. Now that the ammo UI was in, why stop there? So I made a ton more UI screens. I made an end screen and a pause screen, but there was no main menu or shop to hook it up to. I'd made all of these guns for a reason. Let's make a way to use all of them. I started with the simple start screen. This was easy and it's obviously only temporary. It's becoming more and more obvious to me that I need to come up with a cool name, but I just don't have any ideas. So if anyone thinks up something cool, then please let me down below. Right now I'm literally calling it 2D Shooter, so that's not gonna work. But anyways, next up I made a new screen for the shop slash menu slash whatever you want to call it. This is going to be a very rough draft, but I just need the basics. A way to select your main weapons, secondary, and grenade. I set up three panels with scrollable windows, then started setting up the shop. I wanted this to automatically read all of the weapons that were in the file and populate them. This actually turned out surprisingly well. Some of the visuals are looking kinda special, but it's still working. You could select each weapon and bring it into the game. Amazing. Now that I got the shop and weapon selecting working, it quickly came to my attention that some of the weapons were in fact not working. Time to remedy that. Most of the problems that I was having was with the animation system since I had changed up how I was handling that like two times and a lot of the time was spent there. But in almost no time at all it was done. The hardest part was cleaning up the old failed animation attempts, but that's no problem for a good programmer like me. Why isn't this working? Anyways, with this I also may have kinda rewrote the entire grenade system for I think it's the third time now, but nobody cares about that, so let's move on. Okay, so I had the game running, there were the menu to select weapons and then dive back into battle with new camera movement and more dynamic controls. The game's really turning out, everything is playing so much better, I can clearly see the way forwards with this project. Next up, I think I want to make a playable demo for all of you guys to check out so you can give me some feedback. I've been working on this game for way too long, so at this point I'm just trying to cut down my scope creep and get something out there so I can move on to other brand new shiny projects. Tell me what you think of this video and projects, any suggestions and ideas are also super appreciated. I read and respond to literally every single comment, and yes, that is a challenge. I challenge all of you to check out whether I will read and respond to your comment. Thanks for the like three of you actually watching this long. If you like this video, then like and prescribe. If you didn't, don't. Or whatever. I'm not your mom. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, is it just me or did the colors like noticeably look better through the sunglasses than normal? Oh, I'm gonna have to redo everything.